Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about a makeup kit for brides to be. Now this is a video which has been requested quite a lot and rightly so because when you're getting married or even if you've got weddings in the family, um, it can be a bit confusing if you're not um, that familiar with makeup, what do you need? for a wedding appropriate look. So I've got a couple of things with me and I will also be using them as I talk about the products. Now when I'm thinking about products for weddings, you want something that is going to perform really well, that's going to stay well, that um, is easy to use. You don't want to spend a lot of time um, getting ready because there's always a hundred things to do. Um, you also want something which is going to feel quite nice to you, something a bit more luxurious than your usual everyday makeup. And lastly, you want um, something that's going to give you a nice glow you want understated shimmer you want um, shine you want something that was just going to give you that really glossy beautiful looking skin and so we're going to talk about products that do all of the things i have just talked about so let's talk about glow creating products first the first product I have here is the Max Strobe Cream in Gold Light. This is one of my absolute must-haves and I particularly like it in the winters because it's not just an illuminator, it's also a moisturizer. So you can use your fingers. I'm just going to go in with one of my brushes and you can use this all over or you can just use it at the high points and that's what I'm doing. So I'm just illuminating my cheekbone and the surrounding area if you've got skin that's looking particularly dull or dry you can use this all over the face this doesn't have like big chunky shimmer it just gives you this beautiful soft glow you can also use it on your body for just a very understated glow if you don't really want like attention drawing shimmer on the body again it doubles up as a moisturizer so if you've got dryness it's gonna take care of that as well so Nika has their pink friday sale going on um, it's gonna last until the 28th there are some really good offers on a lot of products that i'm going to talk about so do take advantage of that i also have my own uh, store page it's my top wedding picks this is what it looks like and I've picked out um, my top picks for skincare, for makeup and a product for hair care as well um, that I would recommend for the wedding season and you'll see quite a bit of overlap between my wedding picks for the store and the product that I'm talking about here. Um, in this video I have added like a few more extras. Okay, so now that we have um, done like a nice base for a bit of understated glow, I'm going to go in with my um, foundation. You want something that's going to give you decent amount of coverage that's going to make your skin look good that is not going to cake that is going to stay on well that's not going to make you oily in a few hours and uh, my topic for that is the Estee Lauder double wear this is the mini that I've got here so I'm just going to shake it well and what you can do is you can use this directly or you can mix a little bit of a moisturizer of a serum or, or even like just your stroke cream I also really like having the MAC Fix Plus at hand. You can use it at any step during um, your application process because it's not a setting spray. It's not going to form like a film on your skin. This is just going to add like a light layer of hydration. Um, it just helps your makeup blend as well, especially if you um, have dehydrated skin. So I'm just going to use this a little bit. I love how this smells. So now that my skin feels a bit more moist, it's going to be really easy to apply my foundation. So let's go in and I'm going to do not a very heavy layer. I prefer quite like a light foundation look, but I will use concealer for some added coverage in areas where I need it. Now for something like a wedding, I'd also recommend kind of taking your foundation down all the way to your neckline and this is because in flash photography, um, your face can flash like a different tone if you haven't taken your foundation all the way down. So this is just to get a very uniform tone from um, all over the exposed area of skin. 
Now because I'd used the stroke cream, you can see it's not giving like a matte finish. It's still quite like a glossy, glowy finish, which I absolutely love. And I have another product which is not necessary. It's optional in case you want a bit more of a targeted glow on the high points. And that is the Nude Sticks um, Nudies Glow in the shade Bubbly Bebe. And this is a beautiful champagne color. It's also not very high on shimmer. It's like metallic, but just the softest metallic sheen that you can find. Also, Nude Sticks is at a 30% off, so definitely take advantage of that offer. So for this, you can use your fingers, you can use a brush. Let me just use my fingers and I'm just going to tap this on the high points. I always um, prefer using more of creamy liquid products for shine. I just feel like they blend just a bit more seamlessly into the skin and it gives a more of a sort of lit from within glow compared to a powder product. I'm also going to take this a bit down my nose now for concealing, I really like the MAC Studio Fix Concealer. It's uh, very long wearing. It gives quite good coverage and it just um, doesn't get into like the lines, doesn't crack up. I like placing it very strategically in the areas that I really want to brighten. So that's going to be sort of this triangle in the inner corner. And then a bit here as well and I'm applying it in like an upward direction so that's going to give like a bit of natural lift to my eyes I'm not going to blend it immediately I'm going to just let it sit um, for just maybe like 15 to 20 seconds because it's going to start setting a little bit um, sometimes when you blend it out immediately after applying it kind of spreads and shears out and you don't get the kind of coverage you want so I'm just going to wait a little bit so those were more or less my base picks uh, now moving on to the eyes for the eyes i've got in terms of eyeshadow i've got two options the first one is a cream eyeshadow and this is by charlotte tilbury cream eyeshadows are amazing because they're so easy to apply easy to blend if you don't have tools you can just use your fingers and also they tend to stay on really well because most cream eyeshadows or even eyeshadow crayons are going to set into a smudge proof waterproof finish once you put them on so i've got the Shade star gold here which is just like a very easy shade to wear um, it's a beautiful kind of bronzy molten gold color it's going to work really nicely for Indian skin before I go in with that let us just tap the concealer to blend it out if you want to do more elaborate looks the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude palette is at a flat 40% off this is um, I like to call it the ultimate nude palette you have just all the colors you could possibly need to create any kind of look. Um, you've got a really good selection of mattes, shimmers, eyeshadows are really good quality. I feel like this is one of her best palettes yet in terms of quality. All the eyeshadows are just super silky, buttery in texture, uh, blend really well, stay on really well. So if you're someone who is um, who knows how to do a couple of different looks, this is an amazing option. Uh, if not, if you're someone who just wants to have just a one eyeshadow done in a minute, then um, you're better off with like a cream eyeshadow or an eyeshadow crayon. Kind of gives you that really molten gold metallic look. Charlotte Tilbury is at an up to 20% off. I do have a couple of um, products from them for this video. I do think it's one of those brands that, that feels really luxurious, that has these colors that kind of work for everyone. Beautiful shimmers. It's just like, you know, the brand that comes to mind when I think of weddings. The brush I'm using is just, um, it's an eyeshadow brush, I think it's from Real Techniques. So that's really simple. I'm also going to apply this kind of um, underneath my lower lash line, just to have kind of that wash of bronze, just framing my entire eye. So you can see that was super easy. Now coming to liners, kajals, I've got, um, 
the one that I think is the best black eyeliner in the market and this is the Inglot AMC gel liner this is um, let me say first there's lots of good eyeliner gel liner options you've got Maybelline L'Oreal even the Nykaa liner Bobbi Brown but this is the best one I have tried it's super super dark it's um, very very long lasting this is like the darkest black creamiest most pigmented eyeliner i have so if you're someone who likes liners like absolutely jet black you won't find anything better than this um i'm not going to do liner exactly what i'm going to do is just kind of rim my eyes with kajal today and for that i'm going to use the mac extreme black in extreme dimension um this is uh, quite a distinct packaging you're not going to confuse this with the other liners they have it's the you know the fuchsia and the black packaging um this is so creamy so black when i put it on you will see what i'm talking about um i also think it's a good idea to have like a bronzy shade um sometimes you just want to do a really quick look smudging a brown or a bronze liner and i love the nika bronze beam um, liner for this i'm just going to swatch it on the back of my hand so it's like a really dark brown with a bit of um, bronze shimmer. It's just such a beautiful eyeliner pencil. But today I'm going in just with the black. So it's a good idea to smudge this slightly just because it looks a bit more polished that way and doesn't look as harsh. So you take a small brush and you go under your lashes and just gently um, smoke out that kajal so this is called tight lining when you line the upper waterline as well and it makes your lashes look darker it just gives you a bit more of that sooty coal look and now for mascara you want something firstly of course that's going to give you uh, length dimension volume you also want something that is not going to flake um, that's going to survive tears if there's any crying which can happen at weddings um, and the one that I absolutely love for that ticks all these boxes is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara um, it's a bit expensive compared to some of the more affordable ones if you're looking for something that's a bit more affordable um, I really like the L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise as well I think I have it with me here yes this is the one this is the rose gold packaging um, this gives you really good volume and it is absolutely waterproof i think it's important to go with something that is long wearing because um you don't want to have like a beautifully done base and then you have your mascara flaking off um, on the under eye area um, so i'm going to use the smoky eye mascara from bobby brown and you can build this up you can do like two to three coats to make it um just a bit more intense and make sure you do your bottom lashes as well it's going to add just such a nice intensity to um, your kajal when you add the mascara on your lashes and if you're worried about transfer just make sure you're tilting your face forward and down and with this you can avoid getting a mascara transfer to your skin you can see it's given like such an amazing length so i'm going to do this eye and then i'm going to come back and do another coat on both the eyes just to see if i can build up a little more volume as well as length now coming to blushes it's quite nice to have something which has like a little bit of a shine to it not like perceptible huge shimmer but just something which is not like a completely flat matte because that's just going to build on the glow that we've created i really like this um, little cheek palette from rimmel it's got three shades um this is most of the like the more satiny one this has just a little bit more shimmer and this one is almost like a highlighter like a peachy shimmer blush so i'm going to use mostly this one and just a touch of this and i'm not going to be using anything else for the cheeks because i like keeping things quite fresh um it's buildable the color it's not like a crazy pigment so it's quite nice because you won't end up with like clown cheeks you get you're able to build your so that's the blush i've applied just a tiny bit on the nose just to get that sort of sun-kissed effect and now coming to lips now lips is where 
um, it's always nice to have a few different options to mix and match with different shades of outfits i've got a nice mix of um i've got some pinks i've got some neutral colors and i've got some nice reds and deep colors because that is you know um, what is traditionally the bridal color so let me show you some of the lighter colors first this is the mac powder kiss lipstick in the shade more the merrier and this is like a really silky formula the powder case in case you've not tried it's not drying um, and just feels just very buttery and silky on the lips so this is like a mauve um, nude it's a bit darker than the mare uh, the bullet lipstick I prefer this color because it's a little darker so this is nice when you want like a nude lip maybe you've done like a heavier eye then the next one I have is um, by Faces and this is the shade Natural Coco. I think this is amazing for like a more slightly brownie tone. It's less pink, it's got a bit more of a, a brown to it and this is another color that's that's going to work really well on deeper skin tones as well. Um, when you don't know what to wear um, this is the kind of color that you can go for. So this is natural cocoa. Next I have um, Nude Sticks, the shade, um, this is Burgundy and these are so long lasting. So Burgundy is not a super dark Burgundy, it's like a very soft color actually. Um, it's very very wearable, don't be put off by the name Burgundy. Again, this is similar to Natural Coco, but this has a bit more of a berry pink tone while Natural Coco is a bit more brown. Um, love these, highly recommend these and there's a 30% off on nude sticks at the moment. Then uh, one of my absolute favorites, Walk of No Shame by Charlotte Tilbury. Now this is a shade that looks different on different people. It's like a mix of pink, red, brown, so on me, this looks like um, like a berry pink, really. It's such a beautiful, flattering color. Um, I love this. I, I will recommend this. I think these are at 20% off right now. Um, yeah, so that's Walk of No Shame. And then I've got a couple of um, slightly deeper colors. So this is the shade I discovered from L'Oreal. And this is in a pink family like a plummy color but it's not super dark and this formula is really nice it's really nicely pigmented it stays on very well it's not a drying matte yeah so that's the shade i discovered um i'm so tempted to put it on but i think i want to show you one of the reds for red i've got two new shades which i don't think i've talked about on my youtube channel yet so for those of you who don't know the mac ruby woo family has expanded so we had the ruby woo uh, retro matte the bullet lipstick which is like the most iconic red in the world they now have um, the similar shade in different formulations the one which i think is the most wedding appropriate is the shade ruby few and this is um, the retro matte liquid lip color it's very very long lasting it's very intense beautiful rich red i'm just going to swatch it here you can see the color is just it's the same um you know cool toned red really intense just in the liquid formula so um it's really long lasting and if you give it a mi minute it sets down into a uh, matte finish which does not move does not smudge you can eat and drink and i have uh, tested that it's not going to move and then a new discovery is the shade royal from nude sticks and this is again a very um, rich deep cool toned red the pigment is absolutely amazing so it's a little deeper than ruby few uh, this is more of a vibrant red whereas this is like a darker red a bit more evening but it does look really nice so i'm not sure which one i want to put on and show um i think most of you know what ruby woo looks like so i'm thinking maybe i should show royal um let me think i think i'm going to go with the ruby um, just because I know a lot of you want to see how it looks actually on the lips. Um, so let's go with this one. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just going to give it a minute to settle down and dry down completely but I think it's pretty evident that this is such a beautiful like rich vibrant red but it's not orange leaning it's still quite cool toned so um, it flatters pretty much every skin tone and also because it's a cool red it also makes your teeth look a bit whiter so yeah it is one of those shades um, which just works well on everybody so yeah if you love the original Ruby Woo I would recommend you check this out um, super super long lasting and just just the most appropriate color for um, a bridal setting and now the one last thing you need is something to just set your makeup in place um, you can use either um, something like the airbrush flawless setting spray from charlotte tilbury now this is the type of spray that kind of locks in your makeup so just picture sort of like a thin invisible shield that's going to keep your makeup locked in so you can do that or you can use something which is also going to hydrate your skin a little bit and also add a bit of glow so for that i love the mac fix plus with gold light so um this has got some very very fine gold shimmer and you just shake it and when you shake it you can see the shimmer kind of mixes now this is something that's going to give you a bit of light reflection and glow as well so i do think for evening this is amazing so this is what i'm going to use and let's see how it looks you can also kind of use it on your body if you like for a, like a nice soft um, shine and I like this for the body along with the stroke cream because this will give you just like the look of glowy skin. It's not going to be like chunky visible shimmer on the body which is not a look that I personally like. Yeah so this is something that's just going to make your skin look um, you know soft, smooth, glowy without being you know too overly highlighted. And that is the finished look. And that's all for this video. I hope you found this helpful to all those of you who are getting married this year. Congratulations. And even if you're not getting married, even if you just want to put together a kit for the wedding season, the party season, I hope you find my recommendations helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and do click on the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I put up a new video. So everything I've talked about, I'm going to put it in the description box with the links. Do remember the Nike Pink Friday sale is on until the 28th of November so if there's anything you'd like to pick out do pick it out um, during the sale time because there's a lot of savings and yeah that's all for this video thank you so much for watching I will see you all soon in my next one bye